Hey guys, Steve here, and welcome to another video. As you guys can probably see, it's not exactly the prettiest day, but me and Jeff decided to come up here and camp in Northern Idaho. As we mentioned in our previous video, we're headed quite a bit far into the backcountry this time. Um, we're definitely about an hour, hour and a half from the nearest town that will have cell phone service, which is how we like it, but the weather is just not planning out the way we thought it would. Nevertheless, we still got a little ways to get to camp. Hopefully the rain slows down a little bit by then, and if not, we'll just make the rest of it. What do you think about the weather, Jeff? I think it's really beautiful. We took a left turn and a right turn, and I'm just really excited to be here. <laughs> <laughs> it's a beautiful, beautiful damn neighborhood. This North Night out for you. It was sunny about 30 minutes ago, and now we got pouring rain. So we reached our destination here in northern Idaho and we're currently waiting for the rain to pass through because it's June 17th and I feel like I deserve to not set my tent up in the rain. <laughs> well, that's pretty much where we're at guys. Um, we basically got to our destination. We're definitely a little ways back here in the woods, which is kind of the way we like it. Um, what would you say? We're probably a good hour and a half drive from the nearest service. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, up some dirt roads. We're pretty high in the mountains. It's beautiful up here. And it's pouring rain still. And actually, it's thundering out now. Long story short, we're basically going to wait. The Basically, the way the rains work out here anyways, is it'll kind of rain for a while. And then sometimes it'll kind of slow down for a second. So we're waiting for that sort of a slowdown or if it's a stop for just like five minutes so we can get out there, throw a tarp up, probably put our tents up and then... Probably figure out a way to tarp up a little dry spot and make a little fire we can hang out. Probably not going to be fishing tonight, but we'll still make a campfire, set up our tent, make some dinner. Should be a good night. Waiting game now. So anyways, this is the uh, like the new growth off of like the trees. It's like the lighter green compared to the darker green and it's actually like really high in sugar content and you can actually eat it and it tastes like a little sweet and kind of piney it's not bad it's got like a little bitterness to it but a lot of people make like pine needle tea out of it but if you do the new growth it's got like a larger sugar content in it so it's a little bit sweeter and actually like it's not terrible hmm. it does taste lemony yeah it's like a it's lemony like a sour, piney sweet. weird like it's not bad hmm. i don't know the caloric intake on it at all Mm, it's pretty good. Yeah. Let's say we try and make some tea out of it later. Yep. All right, guys, quick update. Unfortunately, I apologize. I can't have my main camera out here. We're going to have to go with this GoPro because it is pouring rain. And the plan is what we're going to do is we're going to tie some paracord from this tree to this tree so we can set us up a little tarp so that we can make a little fire underneath it and dry out. Two little half hitches with an apron on, on it. All right, guys, quick setup. We just did this as fast as we could just because it is raining. Just a tarp, rinse some anchor points. Now we got a dry little spot to sit under right here. Kind of cool. And now we're gonna make a little fire right here. That's kind of the plan. So 
So I'm gonna put this camera away real quick and let's get a fire going because it is a little cold now. It just drove down to like 43 degrees. It's like June 17th, but it's kind of weather. We usually get around this part of the country. Plan now is to find us some firewood so we can make ourselves a real nice fire tonight. So there's a bunch of dead trees around here, so we'll just cut one up. Got the good old chainsaw. Found a dead tree right here. We'll fire up the chainsaw, cut her up. Jeff's over there chopping another dead tree. Well, basically what we did is got these pieces in the manageable pieces so we can carry them back to camp. So now here at camp, we're gonna cut them up to more pieces we can chop up. That's what we're gonna do. Well guys quick update we got a fire going it's kind of funny because we actually just got all that set up and we finally cut up this tree and split it and got a fire going actually just stopped raining so it's kind of cool we're gonna get that drone launched in the air show you guys kind of where we're at it's absolutely beautiful out here we're deep 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 up in northern idaho we're actually not far from the canadian border and it's just beautiful up here long story short i think we're gonna start ourselves cooking some dinner i think what are we gonna make tonight some soups yeah i think we're gonna make some soups and we're getting hungry meat, so meat soup meat soup yeah all right, soup. let's do that.
For these soups, we're basically gonna throw on some carrots and onions in there with some garlic and butter. Then we got some ground beef for it. We'll need the energy for tomorrow. And then eventually we're gonna top it off with water and just kind of let it all simmer for about 15, 20 minutes. Ideally, we're, we're gonna add some potatoes or rice to this, but we did forget, to, when we went to the store and got the groceries, we actually forgot potatoes and rice. So I guess we're just gonna go with proteins tonight. Maybe have some bread with it, but we forgot both of those, so. It'll be half the soup, but it'll still be delicious. All that being said, if you guys have never cooked an iron kiss skillet over an open fire, make sure you give that a try. Probably some of the best heating. I'll take this place with this fire over a five star restaurant any day of the week. All right guys, we're gonna do a couple more additions just to give the soup some color and a little flavor. We're gonna add some red hot original cayenne pepper hot sauce. This stuff's spicy, so we're gonna go easy with it. Whoops, we like spicy food, so. Then we're gonna add just a little ketchup to it. Ideally, you'd want to use tomato paste. We don't have any of that, but we got some ketchup, so just gonna put a little bit of this in there just to give the soup some color. And because Mama tells you to eat vegetables, we're gonna put some vitamins in there. You guys, all of you gotta eat green leafy vegetables, so I'm gonna throw some of these in there. They'll cook right down. Then we're just gonna add water and let all this simmer for a little bit. Now we're just gonna close the lid, give this stuff about 15 minutes. It's gonna be some good eating. Turned out to be a pretty good night overall. Um, as you guys saw, came in here to some pretty nasty weather. Looked like it cleared up a little bit right now. It's still a little chilly out, but usually middle of June, I'm not wearing a coat anymore out here. But you know what? It's that kind of year. It's been chilly out. Long story short, made some awesome dinner. We ate. We're just kind of going to relax by the fire for another 20 or 30 minutes or so. And then we're probably going to hit the sack. So 
you can get a good night's rest and then we're gonna be going on some adventures tomorrow probably hike down river try and catch some fish that'll be fun we might have a few friends actually come out here and meet us so it should be a good night anyways i'm gonna go ahead and put this camera away for the night and i will see you guys in the morning Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's a beautiful morning out here. A little overcast still, but nevertheless, beautiful. As you guys can see, you made a little fire. The plan now is to probably make a little bit of coffee, relax by the fire for a little bit, and we'll probably hit the river and do some fishing. Well, you guys, amazingly, the sun's actually coming out, and it's getting a little bit of toasty. I'm going to be a little honest with you guys, because transparency is important to me. We spend a majority of our morning sitting around a fire, and it's almost like 10.30 now, and the sun's coming out, and we still haven't made breakfast, so now we're getting itchy to go fish. So I think what we're going to do is we're just going to make some tuna fish sandwiches, eat those up real quick, then we're going to go hit the river. What do you think, Jeff? How's it going guys? So just a little update on what I'm gonna be fishing right now. So doing the big dry with a dropper on it. It's gonna use the good old purple lightning bug, which always seems to work. And then I'm gonna start with the purple chub right here, you know, and pretty much have it running two feet below it or so, see what they're eating. Other things I might try today is the green drake or a PMD or a yellow sally, something like that. Not quite sure what they're eating. Uh, and if all else fails, we'll just start ripping big streamers through and see what wants to eat so we'll let you know if we change anything up once we get out on the water and how our day's going minutes about like thank you like yada 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 we know you're all anxious to see your oh nice and we're like dude i do not care nice I think it's a little guy, but I want to break your new net in, so I'm going to grab it. Jeff just hooked up out of the first hole. We're not even out of camp. And he actually bought a brand new net, so we're going to break it in right now. It's not a bad little fish. No. Whoa, whoa, a little pep in him. He's going shallow. Here, I'll walk yeah. in here. I'm going to hug the shore, though, so I don't cut your line out. Really, he's... That's a nice fish. Oh, that's a nice fish, dude. Nice. Nice, Jeff. That's a nice fish. Good fish. So just update on the day. We started out, we saw a lot of fish like actively rising, fishing right out at camp. So we made the call to walk upstream and as we were walking up, the weather rolled in with the pressure differences. We're not having much luck. So we got the one fish, but that's really it for now. We gotta go take care of some tours and whatnot back at camp and then we'll see if we get back at it this evening or if this storm kind of holds us off for the day. So we had uh, thunder lightning and some pretty significant wane when we rolled in last night. Then the forecast is kind of the same. And just kind of watching the clouds and the wind right now, I think it's gonna roll in in the next hour or so. But anyways, we got beer. Well, you guys, quick little update. Um, we haven't done a whole lot today. I'm mostly just kind of sitting around camping and relaxing. As you guys saw, we did go on that little hike earlier. And we basically hiked up river quite a ways to try and find some fish. Um, it's the water we've never explored before, so we're definitely trying something new. Um, it didn't really pan out, and honestly, we didn't really find any super good fishy holes, um, or good water, what we would call. 
Nevertheless, we had a wonderful time hiking out there. Um, it is getting to be evening time. It's about six o'clock now. Ryan actually showed up. I don't know if you guys remember Ryan from um, some more videos earlier, but Ryan's Jeff's girlfriend and they're down in the water fishing right now. She actually just came up, took a little bit to get up here and they're down there at the water trying to get our fish right now. So hopefully they catch something. Meanwhile, I think I'm gonna start marinating some dinner. And for dinner tonight, I think we're going to have a little bit of chicken, um, probably some asparagus, a little bit of veggies, stuff like that. If we're still hungry, we might make some hot dogs. Uh, camping classic, so to say. So, just one of those days, we're just kind of relaxing, having a good time, enjoying a good conversation and good company. Not the major going on. Weather is actually changing back to being better again. It looks like we're going to have a storm move in earlier. It looks like it bypassed us by just a little bit, so we're thankful for that. Either way, let's go ahead and start in dinner because everybody's getting a little hungry.
Well guys, right before bed, we decided to come back down to the river to the first hole where we started this morning and Ryan caught one fish. Good job, Ryan. We're honestly kind of been lazy and relaxed and then we didn't turn the camera on, but it was a good 10 incher. She did a good job. Yeah, so we came down here this evening. I think we had honestly probably like a dozen eats and caught one of them. They're just not even gonna say they're soft takes. I don't know what's going on. Hook sets, me, beer. Honestly, guys, it's just one of those days. But you know what? We're bringing you guys the real truth of fly fishing. It's not always perfect. You don't always have 10 fish days or more. Today we caught one, and we put in quite a bit of quite a bit of miles on the river. We so three. We got three. Yeah. I, I thought we caught one. I thought. See, our fishing I, stories so don't I caught match one now. Here, Ryan caught oh, that's one. right. That's right. No, take that back. I was wrong. And we literally probably hooked 15. Yeah. We had a few fish on. Ryan cut one out of here. Jeff cut one out of here. So we caught more than one fish. But it wasn't a killer day, especially for how much miles we put on the river today. But it's just the way it goes sometimes. It's fishing. Overall, we had a pretty relaxing day. We spent a lot of time just kind of relaxing by the fire and hanging out, enjoying the company. Um, tomorrow's a new day. We're going to get back out in the water. Um, we're actually, so we hiked up river today in the morning we're gonna hike down river and we're probably and this is all new water to ours we've never fished here before so we're probably not gonna go up river again there wasn't really much fishy water and we're gonna go downstream tomorrow and see what we can find and for now meanwhile you guys I think I'm gonna sign out for the night we're gonna go sit down by the fire for another 30 minutes probably it's already getting dark and then hit the sack get all freshened up for tomorrow and we'll see you guys in the morning Legitimately went to elementary school with a person who caught his marshmallow on plier and shook it and it flew back in his face. And it like burnt like his entire cheek and around his eye. Oh, damn. Well, trying to Jeff remember that kid's dumbass. name. Tell you, tell you what guys, Jeff's fire stories, priceless. Really good. Is that charcoal or is that a marshmallow? <laughs> this is Jeff, is it time to explain your Lake Tahi jacket yet? I think we can do that tonight. Let me have a beer though. Okay. I need to have a beer for him to do this. Because I think the viewers have been wondering about your jacket that you wear every trip you go in. <laughs> you mean it's not trendy and cool anymore? All right, you guys, quick little update. Um, we kind of got ready in a little bit of a hurry this morning. All of us slept in just a little tiny bit. Plan now is we basically cooked breakfast, as you guys saw. We had, we had a bite to eat, and now we're just gonna go ahead and hit the river. Um, the plan for today is basically to catch fish. And that's kind of what we're gonna do. We plan to spend a majority of our day in the river. We got our rods all rigged up. Um, we're gonna um, pack a little bit of lunch, fill up our water bottles, and we're gonna hit the river. We're planning on hiking quite a bit of miles today. We're gonna go downstream like yesterday and hopefully we have some fish for you guys soon. So that's the plan. We'll see you guys in the river. Well, you guys made it to the first hole we're gonna try and fish as you guys can see absolutely beautiful out here 
Jeff's over here getting rehydrated. Woo. Ready to catch some fish, Jeff? Yeah. Ryan over there already fishing. All right, nice. Fish on. Yeah. First fish of the day for Ryan. You guys can see, got our first fish of the day. Come on, really set. Good job, Ryan. Nice little cutty. <laughs> Good release. Fish on. Nice little cutthroat. Give him a sec, he's pulling pretty good. Let him tire out. Nice, thank you. Thank you very much. You guys go. First cast, first fish. First fish of the day for me. Beautiful little fish. Come on, buddy. Nice. You guys can see we're in a beautiful beautiful place it's absolutely gorgeous out here plan now is just keep hiking down the river we're gonna go quite a ways um it's kind of the best th the best part about being out here there's absolutely nobody else out here the only way you're gonna get in here is by walking so we're in a cool little place right now we're probably gonna have a bite to eat and then keep on hiking Hey, fish on! Came right off. Little dink. Yeah, a little dink. Oh, nice. It's sandwich time. Oh, 
nice little cutthroat. <laughs> That's a good fish. I think it's just a current. I honestly don't think it's big. Is he? Let's bring him in a little bit. Good, perfect. Even better. Self release. Got myself a little monster here. Here you guys go. Biggest fish of the day. Just a little update on our day. We didn't have an epic day on the river, but we did break one record. My girlfriend Ryan caught the smallest fish I've ever seen caught on a dry by the fly before. We don't have it on video, but it's about this big. All right, so a few bugs that were working for us. We had the, even though no stone flies were out, the purple chub was working well. The purple haze or a parachute atom seemed to be doing work. And then we had the PMD and of course, chuck some streamers and get the big guys. That was kind of the game for today. Like I said before, I don't think we slayed it by any means, but we were definitely catching fish and it was beautiful. So all in all, good day. Can't really complain. And you can eat new growth on trees. Do, know, we need a, do we need to reshoot? Well, as always, I just want to thank you guys for coming on this adventure with us. Um, it was absolutely gorgeous camping up here. We saw some beautiful country. We put in quite a bit of miles today. We're tired, we're hungry, but it was a great day. Unfortunately, all great things do have to come to an end, you guys. And I do have to be somewhere tomorrow early afternoon. So um, Jeff and Ryan are going to stay another night here in camp and take off tomorrow. I'm however going to go ahead and pack up my tent pack my truck and head home nevertheless you guys stay tuned um i got to do some stuff in town tomorrow sunday and then monday morning which is two days away we're heading to rock creek montana and the video will be coming out shortly as well that being said thank you guys for watching as always subscribe to the channel if you haven't already like this video and we'll see you guys next time